Hey guys, beautiful day in the north here today, I tell ya. Date today, <clears throat> December 4th, I believe. Uh, not too sure the temperature out. I haven't even been outside yet this fine morning, but I'm assuming it's probably minus 35 degrees Celsius that is. Uh, hope you guys all had a good uh, Christmas and New Year's and all that other good stuff. <clears throat> For myself, I spent uh, Christmas in town. It was the first year in quite a while that I didn't have any traps out. So I figured I'd spend town, uh, Christmas and New Year's in town with my family and friends. So that's what I did. Not only that, it was minus 39-ish, 35 every day, 45 with a wind chill. So, uh, you know, it just was a good time to good year to spend the season in town so what i'm up to today is say well today i haven't decided what's on my schedule for today uh you know when this weather's kind of like this uh you know skidoos don't start shit like that uh well the other day when i came in here it was 30 below and i had a hell of a time getting my skidoo started and uh yeah, it was, uh, it was cold, I tell you. So anyways, it's been in the 35s. It was 35 all day yesterday. Not too sure what it is today, like I said, but I'm assuming it's uh, right around there. I can tell by how cold it was in the cavern and how cold and chilly it is in here when I get up in the morning. So uh, I don't know if it's gonna be a camp uh, camp day today. Just piss around, around camp. We got lots of little things I gotta do and stuff. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna go out and I'll check on the bait station today. Uh, like I said, I haven't even been outside yet today. So yeah, I don't know what I'm up to today. We'll just see. If I get my skidoo started, I might go on a little tour. I don't know. I got no traps set around my bait station. Uh, it's just been too brutally cold out. Uh, the uh, shop that called and said my skidoo was done, well, <clears throat> I went to go pick it up before Christmas there. My four stroke. Anyways, so I went to go load it up and it got everything all good and it was paid for and everything and well when I went to go load it up I noticed on the uh on the dash all the the digital dashboard, you know, where it tells your fuel gauge and your speedometer all out was totally black. So uh, they came on, you know what the hell's up with us? And he's like, Oh well you know, it was working and I'm going, Well it isn't now and it was all paid for, so I'm not too happy about that. So my four stroke is still in the shop right now. Uh so I called them back right before they closed down and they said uh, closed down for the season, took their holidays or whatever. And they said it needed a cluster, whatever that is, some digital cluster. I don't, I don't know. So anyways, that'll be another fucking thousand dollars probably, but whatever. Hopefully it's done. I'm going to go check up on it here this week. But yeah, anyways. So yeah. Hey Rudy boy. Huh? What's that Rudy? Oh, it's cold outside. Ever give you guys a tour of my cabin? <clears throat> I don't think I ever have, really. So of course, this is the door where you walk in. This is my front deck out here. Okay, get out. It's cold outside, so it really won't be out for too long. So of course, you walk in from that away. You got my my little stove here. It's a little propane stove. It's double burner on it. Uh, it's not a bad little stove. My cooking counter, of course. Uh, keep dishes and food down here. This is all dry goods up in these cupboards. I keep all my frozen goods outside and food, of course. Oh, you're coming in, I'll get in. Uh, up top here, I got a, uh, this is my drying rack. After the day out and everything's dry and wet, put it up there to dry. Uh, I got another one up here too. I used to usually dry meat up on that one, but I built a new rack that I could just maneuver around. Uh, this is wood stove I got last year. This is the Blaze Queen. This is the second biggest from the Blaze King. Uh, that's a pretty damn good wood stove, I tell you. Uh, you dump her this down and she'll burn all night long. <clears throat> of course, all my frying pans and shit hanging on the wall there. Uh, yeah, jackets and shit I hang up in the back close to the fire to dry them out because they're always damp and cold. I got my chair here. Uh, Rudy's chair over there. I just about said Charlie's chair, but Rudy's chair there. Uh, Ben's jackets he left there. Uh, he's in town. Uh, he's working in town. Of course, my mirror right here. I don't look at it very often, but yeah, you gotta have a mirror. 
Oh uh, yeah, the shell bag. This is my shell bag I take with me on the trap line. It's got knives and shells. I have everything to skin a moose in there. Spare shells, compass later. Uh, first aid kit, of course. Uh, I didn't put my blade away and not change that. The only in the skinning shock. Got my editing table here. Uh, this is my new computer here, my new HP. This is, uh, I've only edited a few videos on it, of course. Uh, this window opens. Of course, out the window you can see there's my skinning shock there. This window opens. This side doesn't. This is only a single pane. That's why it's kind of fucking frosted up. Uh, I got my big TV. I got this hooked up to satellite TV. Uh, it's nice to watch the news on it too. This was actually left by the film crew. I got, uh, yeah, so I got watch the news or whatever in the evenings. You know, it's long, long nights here by yourself. Of course, we got my four plugins down there. Uh, this is my charging area. Charge everything up here. Got a Nintendo Switch for the real boring nights. Uh, the only games I play on there, the only games I have is uh, Mario Golf and Zelda BOTW. Uh, yeah, my big window facing the river. Of course, my clock. You got to keep... Got it. Well, you don't have to keep track of the time, but it is kind of nice. I've got another power dock up here as well. Another outlet. Ben rigged that up. Uh, up top here, I got one light here. I got another one in there. And I got one in the back room. I got another light on the porch. I got another light on the back porch. I have one big street light in the back that lights up this whole area. And I also have one... In the front, it's up above the cabin there, and that lights up this part of the area. It gets real dark here. I'm not scared of the dark, but, it, you know, it gets pitch dark here, and it's kind of nice to work outside, huh? Uh, yeah, so I got these LED lights up top here. I got about eight of them. I got four of them hooked up right now. So if I'm not running generator, gas-powered generator, I got a Honda 1000. I also got a no-name 3500 that I don't use very often. I got a cat battery under here. This is hooked up to my my LED lights. Uh, battery charger to keep my batteries charged. Uh, garbage can, of course. Slop pail, piss in there, dump your coffee grinds in there. No shitting in there, Rudy. And uh, yeah, anyways, that's, uh, that's pretty much this part. I got the back room closed off here. It's pretty freaking cold in here. And of course in the back, I got my escape hatch here. This goes in the back. I stack my firewood outside on that deck. Uh, spare bed there. I'm going to move this into the front here. Maybe I'll do that today. I'm going to put that in this corner. Uh, my sleeping bed back here. Uh, whatever. Some cupboards keep your clothes and shit in. Uh, yeah, a little radio by my bed, whatever. And yeah, this floater suit here, I keep this hanging by the door. So in case I wake up in the middle of the night and it's smoky in here and the cabin's burning down and I'm just in my freaking underwear, Grab my boots that I always keep by my bed while I'm sleeping. I could just grab grab my floater suit and get out, and that'll keep me warm. And <clears throat> you know, go in the skinning shock or whatever. So that's my escape plan for that. Uh yeah, so anyways, I don't know what I'm up to today, guys. Uh gonna drink a few cups of coffee here and uh put some gear on and go outside and probably go on a tour. I don't know, I didn't check the temperature. We'll go check that here right away. Okay, guys, well, I just thought I'd show you guys a little, uh, a little tour of my crib. <laughs> okay, guys, I'll talk shortly. It is cold out today, man. I started banking my cabin on each side. They still got to do the back side. 
that should make a difference let's just see what we're out here today minus 35 degrees celsius exactly that's not counting the wind with the wind it's probably 40 something uh yeah so i could really i could really feel the cold on my skin just on my face so cold it's making my eyes water so anyways yesterday i uh I opened up my water hole last night. I didn't go too far out. Uh, I never went out to the middle yet, of course, but I'm pretty sure I could probably cross it right now. But yeah. Holy shit, that looks cold, man. Yeah, you can still see some open water up in the corner. My little water hole right down there. But you could see the ice was farther than my water hole on the middle it's got to be it's got to be good so yeah minus 35 right now uh i don't like starting my machines my skidoo and that kind of weather you know shit just breaks at this temperature uh the skidoo started to make a ticking noise as well you know when when it's closed on tick 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 well it's not supposed to go tick 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 so something's wrong and that went on a little bit last year too as well i thought it was like ice built up underneath or something but yeah no it isn't i had it in the shop and they looked at it and yeah but yeah i don't know man it is midday right now i guess so if the temperature drops below minus 30 we'll go out and do something look at that can you hear my ski pants they're just frozen <laughs> Look at that, you ready to go back inside, Rudy? Okay, I'm going. I know it's cold. Get in there. Get in there, Groot. But yeah, so anyways. Yeah. What kind of days like today. You just wonder what you should do here, huh? Like on the back side here. We gotta bury that propane bottle because when I was making coffee this morning, the flame was only like this big. And it should be like, like that big. So, of course, the propane's gelling up. Uh, them traps there, I was going to go out and set here. I just haven't got around to it yet. Uh, it's been too cold. Usually about this time of year, we get a real cold spell like this. And it'll be in the 35s, you know, 40s for, oh shit. It could be a couple of weeks. But according to the forecast, it's supposed to drop down and minus 25 or whatever. So maybe I'll just finish banking up around the back here. I should have sheeted it in because it's pretty high up. I don't know what I'm going to do with that, how I'm going to do it. But if I get that banked up, it'll make quite a big difference. Keep the cold air from coming up underneath the floor. Of course, my floor is insulated. Uh, but yeah, so I don't got a whole lot of wood. I'm going to have to go do wood tomorrow. I kind of wanted to do a sleigh load today, but like I said, I won't even try and start that skidoo at minus 35. Uh, not only that, it probably won't even start, huh? Uh, so yeah. But anyways, I got uh, backup wood under that snow pile. There's about a week's worth of wood there. It's not bucked up yet. So I don't know. I think maybe today is a sharpen the chainsaw day. And hopefully tomorrow it's a little bit warmer, you know. You know, one old timer always told me, he said, you know, I was going out to check traps one day and it was minus 30. Don't challenge the elements, don't challenge the elements, he said. But anyways, yeah. So I got all my boxes and everything all underneath this pile of snow there. This is what I was going to take out and set. They're all ready to go. Of course, they're under snow now. For some reason, it's too lazy to tarp it over or whatnot. But yeah, usually I uh, have enough wood stockpile this time of year. But I never spent a whole lot of time out here this fall to cut wood. And the time I was out here, I didn't feel like cutting wood. I wanted to go hunting or do, do fun stuff. So, you know, just keep putting it off, putting it off. I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow. You know, that type of shit. Anyways, well, that was fucking three months ago. And uh, so, yeah, that's all right. I don't mind cutting wood. But, yeah, anyways, it's a nice day, guys. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do here today. Now I gotta split a bit of wood, fill my wood box up. Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. So, yeah, that's what I'm up to, anyways. But I think, I think I'm gonna go check that ice. I think I just might. 
So I'll just take my needle bar, I guess. And I'll walk out halfway. If it's good in the middle, it should be good. So yeah, we should go do that now. Maybe at least something to do, huh? Can't just sit around the cabin all day long. Fucking guy will go crazy. Man, look at that. Look at all that cold air there. Just looks cold, doesn't it? She's cold, man. She's cold. Yeah, look at that. You could really see how much the ice dropped. All this big crack all along. So she dropped quite a bit since last time I was here. Uh, yesterday was the first time I opened up my water hole before I was just scooping right out of the river. And there's about four inches here. Uh, so I'm just gonna go out a little bit farther and check. So yeah. No animal tracks on the river yet. Usually there's wolf tracks or or something. I had to run back up to the cabin. The battery froze. On my GoPro, <coughs> the battery was at 80% when I came down. That just shows how quickly the batteries freeze. You know, you can't even, can't even make video in this stuff for very long in this weather. Hey, where were we? Hey, we're just gonna check this ice. Great. Okay, go right out to the middle. Now, if this was a TV show, I would dramatize the shit out of this because it is a little bit dangerous, but. We don't create drama on the wild north. When I was opening up that water hole yesterday, I could just hear the ice just cracking underneath me. Uh, yeah, it was interesting. Well, that was a little bit scary. Oh, didn't even make it to the middle. Every time I hit, it would fucking crack big time. I could hear the ice just. I tried going through. I got about maybe three inches. It didn't break all the way through, but it was just making scary noise. <clears throat> I think if I went fast enough, it'd be all right but I'm gonna give her a couple more days. I ain't gonna fuck around with it. Yeah, okay, well, got that out of the way. Anyways, now that it's froze over, 
It'll just keep making ice every night. We'll get a little more, a little more. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, okay, well, I thought. That was fun. Got a little idea of how much ice is out there now. Out in the middle there. Once I got out there and started chipping there, it made some pretty fucking weird noise I didn't like. You know, that never heard that before. It almost sounded like everything underneath just kind of just started cracking. Uh, I don't like that sound, man. You know, I like it when you hit with your needle bar and all you hear is a needle bar go cling, vibrate, huh? Not fucking ice cracking underneath me. Uh, got a little spook there for, for a minute. <laughs> and I wasn't even out in the middle yet. You see, it might be five inches on the edge. In the middle there could be two inches or an inch or just be a skiff. Skip of ice covered in snow. Uh, I'm pretty sure if I really had to, I could jump my skidoo and drive across real fast without breaking through. But it's a little different story if you're on a skidoo or on feet, huh? You know, when you're on a skidoo, you're, you're, the weight is spread out and you're moving a hell of a lot faster. So, yeah, well, that was that was good. So anyways, yeah. Uh, kind of wanted to get out and do wood today and go check up on the bait station, but I know damn well... My skidoo won't even start in this weather. You know, it'll be froze up like a block of shit. So, pretty useless to me right now. So, yeah, I'll just find things to do around camp. Probably going to go and split a bunch of wood, stack some wood. And by that time, it'll be dark out. The sun's already starting to set now, and it's only 2.30 in the afternoon. By 3.30, it's set. By 3.30, it's freaking near dark. I think we gain, now we gain daylight. I think we get about three minutes every day or two and a half minutes of extra more light every day something like that anyways but anyways yeah uh figured to slap a video together around here what is up to you know i haven't been uploading a whole lot lately nothing really interesting has been going on you know just shit like today uh that's all right you know this weather will pass here in a few days hopefully and then uh don't have to fucking hang around here all day long which is fine you know don't get me wrong i'd rather just be hanging around here working around the yard than being in lockdown in town you know so i don't mind working around here uh there's always something to do always something to do so yeah so yeah guys okay well i'm gonna go stock some wood here and uh hopefully tomorrow this weather drops a little bit or not drops <laughs> you know what i mean hopefully it's a little bit warmer out tomorrow uh we'll just see the forecast actually said that it was supposed to be this week down in the 20 minus 25 26 and then like 30 at night well it was 35 all day it's probably getting cool colder now It'll probably get to minus 40 celsius tonight i bet uh that's what i'm thinking okay guys i'm gonna go split some wood cook some supper and uh enjoy the rest of the evening we'll talk to you guys another day